تبهي اثنين Okay, we are going to start. For today's class, we have the main, the, 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 the objective to work with. It is that all participants will be able to write some information questions using the same past correctly in groups as well as to find the correct answer to questions produced with their classmates. <clears throat> what does it mean? It means that we are going to continue uh, practicing with questions. And of course, the tense that we are going to include with the questions, it is going to be the simple past, okay? So we continue using the simple past and uh, well, we have to study a little bit uh, about the grammar structure. But before going there, there is something that we haven't emphasized that much and it is related to the pronunciation. We need to make an emphasis about the pronunciation about the past simple, right? Because that is uh, the way that we can say that maybe that is the weakest part whenever we talk about the simple past tense. Now we have here this. Remember that we have the three different pronunciation for the simple past tense, but we are not going just to classify them. We are going to first 
we are going to write down the past tense of them. And second, we are going to pronounce them, right? Because that is um, one of the cores of this tense. Okay, so we are going to, we're gonna try to complete this chart. We are going to um, write down in the right place every verb around this table, okay? Around this chart. <clears throat> okay, the first thing that we are going to do is, what is the past tense of these verbs? How come am I going to have the past tense? Am I going to double the last letter or Am I not going to do it? So what is going to be the result? If we apply the rules, well, we need to know how to do it first, okay? Now, we have here, for example, I want you to write down in the chat box, the past tense for cook. Write down in the chat box, what is the past tense for cook? Okay. Thank you. The past tense for save. The past tense for stay. The past tense for net. Now you cooked your time. I think that is verb is um very difficult <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah, that is a purpose, right? You to have like not common verbs. Okay, Rosa, she has guessed. Okay, Osvaldo too. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Okay, so we have two different versions. Versions. Uh, Rosa has one and Osvaldo has another one. What about the rest? What do you think? Okay. Give me a sec. Okay. The correct, the correct uh, option from Roses and Osvaldo, the correct one is the second one, Osvaldo. But let us apply the rule. Why did Osvaldo double letter T? Osvaldo, can you tell us why did you double double T? Uh, I need it. Aha, but why? Why did you double letter T? ¿Por qué razón duplicó la T? For the, the rule of consonant vowel. Okay, because of the rule. So he applied the rule consonant vowel and consonant, one syllable, because this is only one syllable. One syllable, consonant, vowel, and consonant. So we double the last one, 
plus ed. So that is needed. Okay. Good. Now let us continue. Which is the past tense for listen? Listen. Nobody else, only Osvaldo has written. In rows two. And Berta too. Okay, listen. Okay, good. For wash, which is the past tense for wash? Ha! <laughs> that is faster. Okay, good. Spy. 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 Okay, that's it. Employed, employee. Employee. Okay. Uh, only with, with one E roast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, next one. Drop. 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 Okay, double P. Arrive. Arrive. Okay. Arrived. Hop. Hop. Okay, double P, yes. Oops, what did I do? Okay. <laughs> hope. <laughs> okay. Hope double P. Worry. Okay. That's it. Talk. Mm -hmm. Open. Okay, annoy, annoy. What is annoy? I don't know. <laughs> no it is conozco. like to bother, okay? To annoy, to bother. Move, move. <laughs> Ahí la mayoría rápido, ¿ok? Study. Ok, study. Enjoy. Enjoy.
Uh -huh. Bake. Bake. Uh -huh. Cry. And the last one that is stop. Okay, top of P. Okay, so that is stop. So I see, I see no problems at all. No problems at all in the the past tense of the verb. What is the past tense of the verbs? No problem at all. Now we are going to go to the second part. We have to <laughs> classify them according to the final sound in these three charts. For example, you know how to make them in past now. If I write down here, hook in past tense, okay. is it correct if I place it in that place or no. is it wrong? No. Where? It's correct. Is it correct? Yes. No, wrong because the the end is t. the end is t okay but it's t. T. El, el sonido es es como la el, el... d no el, el sonido es como el zumbidito que usted hace que yo no puedo ah okay no pero aquí no tenemos ese zumbidito ese zumbidito solo sale del Del sonido como de la Z, pero así, z, z. But in this case, no tenemos ese sonido. Teacher, I think that is the letter D because uh, when you do pronunciation, very good. And, and in this case, is the D, the sound. Okay. 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 I'm going to write it down in the three sounds. And then you tell me which is the correct, okay? Good evening. Good evening. I think uh, the first option is the best. The Cooked. first option is the best. Cooked. But why? Why do you say that, Elsie? <laughs> Lo sabe mi corazón. <laughs> no, yo solo sé que lo sé, dice. <laughs> okay, because Osvaldo says that it is the first one, that is uh, uh, with letter T. You say that it is T. Jennifer says that it is the second one. Nobody has said that the third one. Sure. Pero díganme the reasons, yes? Because it, when you talk your garganta, your throat, 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 it's boilies. When you pronounce it in its form base, no, no vibra, no vibra la garganta. Ajá. Por eso el ejercicio, todos los verbos están en su forma base. De aquí depende la pronunciación de todos los que ustedes escribieron en el chat box. But this is the main, uh, this is the core of it, ¿ok? La base, in this case, what Elsie is saying about is this. La, el último sonido del verbo, ¿cuál es? Eh, ¿Qué? 
el no verbo es... en presente o en, pas o en pasado? Base, forma base. Ah, yeah. ¿Okay? Este es forma base, ¿ok? Ok. Voy a decir, voy a pronunciar el sonido, no voy a decir el nombre de la letra, no voy a decir K, K, porque va a vibrar. Uh -huh. But if I say no vibration, no sound, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando yo lo escribo en pasado, I am going to pronounce esta, yo no la voy a pronunciar tal cual, sino que en lugar de decir esa ED, yo voy a producir Después de este sonido, me voy a ir a producir este sonido. Entonces voy a decir cooked. 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 That's it. ¿Por qué? Porque el último sonido es voiceless. Y este es lo que dice la regla. All the last sounds which is voiceless... The pronunciation of the ED is T. Cooked. Cooked. Ok, solventamos el primero, ok? Ahora van a ir a hacer el resto ustedes. And now I have helped you. Yes? Yeah. Oh, sh. <laughs> oh, sh. <laughs> Ay, ¿por qué no los hacemos todo aquí? Ok, vamos a hacer el segundo, ok? Let us do it another one. Let's see. Number two. The past, the, la, the past tense of this is... Say. Ustedes lo escribieron tal cual Save. así. Let's see. Ustedes lo escribieron así. So... I am going to have the three options here. Y ustedes me dicen which is the correct one. Okay, let's see. First for me. En el primero, uh, this is not correct here, this is not correct here. So, which is the, the correct? The first. First, okay, here. First. So that is the correct. Do you agree? Sí. Hagan la prueba. Sí. Okay. Sí. Okay. The first. Hagan la prueba. No sí. solo adivinen. Hagan sí. el ejercicio este. Sí. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto? Sí. No, lean el verbo y mantengan el último sonido. Sí. Sí. Es que van a producir el sonido este en triplecas de sonido. No voy a decir V. Voy a decir. Este es el último sonido aquí, ¿ve? Porque la E no se pronuncia. Save. Dave, do you feel vibration? Yes, no. teacher. Si no siente vibration, no lo está haciendo bien. Okay, fonemas. Estamos con fonemas. Save, save. Por supuesto que vibra. Hasta me pican los labios, ¿ok? Save, save. Entonces, which is the correct pronunciation, guys? The second. This is the correct. And then I'm going to say saved. 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 This is not correct. This is not correct. Hagamos el tercero, ¿ok? Aquí están, todos están en su forma base para que 
reconozcan el último sonido, ¿ok? Stay. 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 Stay.
se va a pronunciar así. Id. Id. Es formar una tercera sílaba. Oh, no, no una tercera sílaba. Una sílaba. For example, invited. Sí. Tid. ¿Por qué? El, el último sonido es este. Y después me dice que voy a pronunciar esto. Entonces voy a decir invited. ¿Ok? Ya tengo el primer sonido, el último, que es t. Y habrá algún sí. verbo cuyo último sonido en su forma base sea d. d. Yes, for example. Need. 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 Ok, el último sonido es d. d. Entonces. Ajá. Entonces, el past tense, esta ED, va a sonar como este sonido más I, D, entonces se va a pronunciar needed. needed. Y solo esos dos, ya no más, los demás los aviento al voiceless y al voiced. ¿Ok? Ahora, need. Needed. That's it. Which is the last sound? Entonces, cuando yo duplique, esto me va a formar la tercera sílaba, entonces la, la otra sílaba. Entonces voy a decir needed or needed. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso... El tercer grupo le va a importar cuántos sonidos? Dos. Solo dos. Que el último sonido sea. O okay, que el último sonido sea. D only. The rest. The rest of the sounds. Pues que se dividan entre el t y el d. Pero que se vayan los voiceless y los voiced entre los otros dos. To the third team. Solo le importa esos dos sonidos. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Better, porque ahora sí se van a ir a trabajar solitos salones. Ok. <coughs> Let's see. Tómenle captura, please, para que puedan trabajar con ellos. Ya. Yeah. Now, yes? No, no, no. No, no, ok. If, if not, I'm gonna, I can do it for you. Do you want me to do it? I don't. Ok, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for you. Ready. Good. Ok, I'm gonna do it for the ones that maybe you can not do it, okay? Let me see. It is in there, in the chat box, right? Elsie, yes. it is in there, if you had some troubles. Okay, guys, Thank now, you. okay, now you are going to continue classifying Con el análisis que estábamos haciendo. Which is the last sound? Is it voiceless? Is it voiced? ¿Ok? Ok. Let's see. Ok, I'm going to... Los oyentes, si hay alguno que quiere participar, me avisa. Si no, no lo incluyo, ¿ok? Vamos. La asistencia, teacher. Let me see. Oh, yes. Ok, antes que se vayan a trabajar, voy a pasar asistencia. Ok, guys. Vamos a ver. Thank you. Porque después se me olvida. Ok, guys. So, be ready. 
Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Cute. Here. Elsa Benedicta Amaña Am Magaña Umaña. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Okay, Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández, Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos, present teacher, Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruayos, Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana, José Adilson Vázquez García, Ro José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerina Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Muy temprano estoy pasando la lista. Ok, Maximiliano Rotay, <ríe> Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay, Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. En Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay. Okay, guys, now, yes, we are going to work with our teams. Let's see. Solo me dicen presente para ver a quienes pongo acá. Rosa, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay. Berta, yes. Jennifer, yes. Carolina Rodriguez. Okay. Osvaldo. Present. Okay. Okay, vamos a Berta, va Osvaldo y va Rose. Okay. 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 And in the second one goes Elsa, Jennifer, and ya no hay nadie más. Only you two. Okay. Let us go and work. Let us classify them.
¿Cómo sería? Es un um, gorriel. Gorriel. Creo que estaba con ID. Ajá. Gorriel. 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 Sí, yo creo que sí, en la 3. Gorriel. Gorriel. Es el último sonido de la base. Word. Word. El último Word. sonido de la base. ¿Cómo se lee el verbo en su forma base? Worry. Ok, worry. Entonces, worry. entonces yo tendría que decir worry para poder ser parte del tercer grupo tendría que terminar en okay. o oh, en sí. de, y no termina uh -huh. en ninguna de esas dos. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Entonces sería de on word word of the hagan la prueba a ver si vibra <laughs> yes 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 en la t there will be Floyd, 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 no siento mucho la vibración en la garganta, en Floyd, pero sí vibra. Sí. Ah, entonces sí, es, es voiceless. Ok, ok, si vibra, es voiced. Es voiced. No. Si vibra, es voiced. ¿Cómo vamos a sentir... Um, la clave es pronunciar el verbo en la forma base. Ok. Entonces, si ahí dice employ, voy a decir esto. Employ. employ. Unos sonidos se pueden mantener así a lo largo, otros no. Ese sí se puede mantener. Employ. ¿Vibra o no vibra? Employ. Sí. Entonces employee. voy a decir, no, no, diga employee. Employee. Ahí, ahí. Employee, ah. ahí vibra. Employee. employee. Después, después de ese sonido, voy a producir el pasado, que es la ED. Y entonces, como vibra, la ED la voy a pronunciar como D. Y voy a decir, employee. employee. Employed. Employed. Ajá. Employed. 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 That's it. Employed. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Bueno. La siguiente es uh -huh. drop. 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 Pues sí. Ajá. Entonces, oh. no puedes, ¿qué puede ser? Qué raro. Yo me incluyo nomás por la primera, pero no sé qué es. Yo también. 
Can I help no, you? Uy, estoy acostada. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, move, teacher. Ok. Hagamos sí, la prueba. Sí, yo que la primera, move. Ok. Esto move. termina en B, ¿verdad? Ok, sí. va, pero no lo haga corta porque ese sonido se puede alargar. Yo digo, move. 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 Ajá. Move. ¿Vibra move. o no vibra? Move. Sí. sí. Entonces, okay. move. That's it. Okay. Sin duda alguna. Ok. Entonces, ¿en cuál va? First. The second. Okay. Ah. First. The second. The first. Ok. Anyway. Second. 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 Ajá. Si suena. Si vibra. Es el second one. Ok. 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 Yo me voy a Para mí termina en el T open. Sí. Bueno, bueno aunque no puedo hacer mucho la pronunciación, pero por ahí se me hace que va. Entonces con la T, opened, pero es que opened. Yo creo que es con la D, pero no sé qué. Opened, opened. ¿Escucharon en el traductor? Ok. Sin traductor, sin traductor. Aquí es, aquí es, es que el último, garganta, garganta. El último no. recurso, open. No. Pero si no. vibre es opened. Yes. ¿Verdad? Yes. ¿Y con, por qué vibra? ¿Cuál es el último sonido? Manténgalo. Open. That's it. 
Open, entonces, uh -huh. okay, open sin duda alguna, si vibra, entonces, it goes to the second group. Ok. Ok, no lo dude. Me, me veía desesperada, este hecho. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, we are coming back. Maybe you haven't finished. Maybe you are missing three or five the most, and we are going to complete them together. Okay, now you tell me where listened goes t d it. One, two, or three. Listen. Mm. Learn two. And two. And two. Two. Okay. In two. That is the correct. Next one. Okay. Wash. 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 One. Uh, number one. Number one. Number one. Spy. What? Spice number, number two. Number two. Employee. Employee. Number two. Yes. There. There. Is there. Okay. Number three. Three. Yes. Beep, 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 beep. 
Number two. Yes, porque para pertenecer al tercero, el último sonido tiene que ser or d. Y ese no termina en ese sonido. ¿Cómo termina ese? Employ. Uh, ok. Entonces, ¿para dónde agarra? Para el... Number two. Two? Two. Employed. Drop. Mm -hmm. Number one. Uh, what? Number one. Dropped. Dropped. Number one. Arrive. Dropped. Number one. Two. Okay. Arrive. Yo se los digo en su forma base. Arrive. Two. Number two. two. Ah, okay. Two. Hop. One. Hop. Number one. Hop one. Hopped. Worry. Worry. Two. Two. Number two. Talk. One. Talk. One. one. Open. One. One. Two. Number two. One or two? Two. Two. One. For me, one. Okay, todos los que dicen one. Berta, Dos. Osvaldo. One. Okay. Hagan la prueba. So Digan el verbo sin decirlo en pasado. Díganlo en presente, en base. Okay. Open. Okay. Oh, open is number two. Ah, ok. It is number two. Porque es voiced. Number two. Anoy. Anoy. Number two. Number two. Two. Number two. two. Move. Two. Number two. Move. Study. Two. 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 Enjoy. Two. Two. <laughs> Bake. One. One. Bake. Bake. Cry. Number two. two. Stopped. Number one. 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 Okay. Okay. Esa es la segunda parte. Good. Yes, Berta. Teacher, ¿cuánto tiempo tenemos que prolongar el sonido para saberlo clasificar? Porque en una lo alargamos y en otras no lo alargamos. Si el último sonido permite lo, lo permite alargar, lo mantiene para y lo alarga tanto, le permita a usted identificar si vibra o no. Algunos okay. no permiten alargarlo. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero alargar el último sonido de cook, no puedo porque voy a decir cook. Okay. Porque es un sonido cortado, cook. Así lo puedo mantener. Cook. Stop. Pero hay otros que sí se mantienen. Por ejemplo, employ, arrive. Esos se mantienen y es para que ustedes puedan identificarlo. Si vibra, bueno. Y los que no vibran, que normalmente son esos sonidos cortos. Stop. Bake. ¿Ok? Ok, entonces, okay. esta es la segunda parte. Ahora viene la tercera parte. Hay que pronunciarlos como deben ser. Yeah. Ya, ya en pasado. ¿Ok? Voy a borrar todo esto. Y vamos a hacer de cuenta y caso que todos ya están en pasado con la ED. ¿Ok? Ok, yo no, no voy a hacer cuenta y caso. Le vamos a escribir la ED, ¿ok? Vamos a, ¿cómo se va a pronunciar? 
cooked. 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 Saved. 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 Needed. Needed. Listened. 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 Listen. Washed. 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 No, it's washed. It's washed. Washed. Spied. 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 Employed. 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 Dropped. 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 Arrived. 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 Hopped. 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 Worried. 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 Talked. 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 Opened. Opened. Annoyed. Annoyed. Moved. Moved. Studied. 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 Enjoyed. 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 Baked. 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 Cried. 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 Stopped. 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 Okay. So that is the correct way to say, to pronounce, okay? Okay, Berta, en el traductor, sí nos puede servir para pronunciación de las palabras, pero en pronunciación en general, y sí le puede servir, pero yo prefiero, ustedes me dicen, enseñarles, a pescar, a que ustedes vayan a escuchar el traductor porque no toda la vida van a tener el traductor a la mano. ¿Ok? En cambio, cualquier verbo, usted solamente le analiza si es voiced o es voiceless o si termina en t o en d y usted ya sabe cuál de las tres pronunciaciones dar. I prefer to work in this way. De lo contrario, vean en la web, ahí ya están los listados con la supuesta pronunciación en pasado. Pero se va a aprender cuántos verbos. ¿Cuántos verbos hay? ¿Cuántos regular verbs hay? Vayan a buscar. There are a lot. So, mejor se aprenden las reglas y las aplican. Yes. That is a way, right? I I understand Berta. It is it sounds a little bit like difficult, but practice, 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 and practice, it is going to help you. Okay. Ya no me va a hablar Berta. Okay. Okay, guys. After practice, have practiced the pronunciation, we are going to study. The last structure for the simple yes. past tense. And the last structure is WH question. WH question or information question. Why do we call them information question? Because I need some information that I don't know. And that is why. 
that information can be time. That information can be time, a place, or in a general way, right? When we say what, because what, we can use it in many different ways. I have this structure, the WH word. In this case, it is when, where, what. But we can include why. ¿Alguna otra que se les ocurra? Que no esté aquí. Who's? Okay, who's. Okay. Which. Which. How many or how much? How many? Okay, how many? How much? How long? How long? How long? Okay. So you see, we have a variety of information. I'm going to choose the WH word and immediately I am going to use the auxiliary did. No matter what the subject is, I am going to use did for all the subjects. I, you, we, they, you, he, she, it. It doesn't matter. I am going to not use to be. did. Not to be. Not to be. Never to be. Never to be. Never. And never do. Only did. Only did because it is past simple. And here we have the verb. Okay. The verb here it is speak, need, and like. Now let us see the equation in a general. When did you speak English. English. When did you speak English? When did you pass pass? When did you speak English? Yesterday. Okay, very good. What did you like from Miss Universe? Um, the winner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Because it is past, a past event. I can use any WH, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement, if it is possible. And I have this ones. When did you arrive? Where did you go? Why did she leave early? What did he say? Todos ellos son preguntas de acuerdo a algún contexto. I don't know what the context is. Recreémoslo. Let's see. ¿En qué contexto podría utilizar yo esta pregunta? Hey, where did you, when did you arrive? Eh, cuando vamos, venimos de vacaciones. Ah, ok, venimos de vacaciones, su amigo o su amiga iba a ir a España. Y se supone que ustedes iban a ir, um, quiero ver, se lo encontró ahí en el mall, metro centro o cualquiera que a usted se le ocurra. Y a usted le sorprende. Porque no le ha avisado a usted que ya vino. Entonces le dice, hey, when did you arrive? That is the context. Yes. For number two, where did they go? In qué context we can use this? Mm. When no, you no. have a, a day with your family, or friends ah, and, okay. you, uh -huh, and you and you now that's place in your fo photographs in in the ah okay uh -huh. you are uh seeing the photos and then you are asking 
to someone. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. And then you say, hey, where did they go or where did you go, right? This is mm -hmm. a nice place. Where did you go? You have a nice view. Good. Then we have the third one. Why did she leave early? Creemos le context. For one, one real, uh, uh, reunión de trabajo. <laughs> ah, because, uh, uh, okay. Because of a uh, job meeting, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Estaban ahí en la fiesta todos. Pero de repente salió que Berta se fue. No estaba ya en la fiesta. Y viene Jennifer y pregunta, hey, what did she leave early? And another person is going to say, ah, oh, because she had a meeting. Right? Now we got a context. Now let us create the context for the last one. What? Did he say? Mm. What did he say? When when you when you know uh, that information in a specific um, meeting, for example, when your boss that in instructions for the team, mm -hmm. and and you um. You you cannot in in this meeting, for example. Okay. Uh -huh. You didn't you didn't attend the meeting, right? Yes. You didn't attend, and then you ask someone, "Hey, what did he say?" Good context. Se fijan, sin context, todas tienen sentido, of course, but. When we are thinking about the context, we understand much better what we need or the information that we need to create these sentences or equations. This is like a very relaxed structure. It is exactly the same. We have the WH form. WH word, then we have the auxiliary, we have the subject, and finally I have the verb. When did the ambulance arrive? Where did the accident happen? Who did you call? Three, three different questions with the structure of simple past tense. Now I have here the, the exercises. La primera oración me recrea el contexto. So I have to write down the question, but I have the examples here. Okay, hey, what a terrible accident in the Proceres Boulevard, right? Right. Didn't you know? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. For the okay. news. Yeah, in the news. Okay. I have this. Uh, lo primera me va a dar el background. The accident happened on the third floor. ¿Cómo podría hacer yo una pregunta cuya respuesta sea la anterior? Ah, okay. The accident happened on the third floor. Where did the accident happen? Ah, the accident happened on the third floor. Vamos al revés, pero tenemos el contexto. Ceci called the paramedics. Entonces, who did Ceci call? Okay, Ceci called the paramedics. Hector had an accident last Sunday. 
When did Hector have the accident? Aquí falta una T. Last Sunday. He had an accident last Sunday. Contexto. Fred and Joey failed the test. ¿Cómo puedo hacer una pregunta para que me respondan eso? Hey, why did Fred and Joey fail the uh, test? Fail the test. Okay. Fail the okay. test. Okay, so se recrea el contexto para poder hacer una pregunta. Okay. I have the questions. I have more examples. How did you meet each other? Each other is the guy with the shark. Ah, well, one day I wanted past to dive and it just happened. Okay. Question and answer. How did it happen? Oh, I was on vacation in a mountain. <laughs> okay. okay. How did it happen? Next. What did you do? I asked for okay. help. Question and answer. Did you see the sign of danger? No, I didn't. Ya se había pasado when he realized that was a sign. Okay. Was he careful? No, no he, was. he wasn't. Se chamusco. <laughs> Por travieso. Yes, yes. So we have here like a comparison with the way that we have to uh, write down the WH equations in the yes no question. Aquí en este ejemplo también nos podemos dar cuenta que podemos hacer preguntas cargadas negativamente. Didn't she learn English yesterday? No solamente con el auxiliar. Did she learn English yesterday? No, we can make them using the negative form. Didn't she learn English yesterday? Solo que ella va con, <clears throat> con un énfasis de que, sí, y, y que no aprendió ayer inglés, ¿ok? ¿Ok? We can offer okay. a class, pues. We can, we can write down questions, yes, no questions, in negative. This is, again, a general structure with both. Both structure, yes, no questions versus WH question. Okay? Okay. Okay, now... You are going to work and you are going to write down five yes no questions and five WH questions. Y esas preguntas se las van a hacer al otro equipo. Por ejemplo, el equipo de Berta le va a hacer las preguntas a Elsie y el equipo de Elsie a Berta. ¿Ok? Tienen que oh. entender the equation y así le van a dar una respuesta lógica a lo que ellos pregunten. ¿Ok? Five. Five, five and okay. five. Five and five. Five yes, no questions, and five uh, WH questions. Solo que, ¿quién se nos retiró ya? De ti, solo veo a Osvaldo con... Ah, no me aparece Berta. Ya la voy a, a integrar nuevamente, ¿ok? okay
Elsa no se me mueve. Elsa, are you here? ¿O se me durmió? Elsa, Elsie. Jennifer. Sí, teacher. La voy a volver a, a mandar porque ya se conectó Elsie y Elsie no me conectó, no me contestaba. Ah, sí, y por eso regresé porque solo yo estaba ahí, sí, pensé sí. que. Cuando yo ingresé ya se había salido usted. Ah, ok. <risa> ok. Sí, yo... Bueno, voy. Ok.
फिर Una, dos, tres, cuatro, tenemos ya, nos falta una. No, solo tenemos tres. La primera se repite con la que yo puse, se repite con la que vos pusiste. No, porque es que, es que Osvaldo dijo, this, did you like last party? Ah, ok. Sorry, no había escuchado. Nos falta una de todos modos. Una, dos, tres, cuatro. ¿Qué dijiste? No se te oyó. No, no, eso lo estaba repitiendo las que habían puesto. Me falta una. Falta sí. una.
seas loco, no sabes, yo voy a contar. Ajá, <ríe> Eso es que vamos te puedes a, olvidar, va, pero. vamos a dar, vamos Pero a ya dar aplicamos pena. la regla, ajá. <ríe> Adiós, Pere. Ah, vamos a empezar. Ya es el chiste. Ah, ok. Yes. <ríe> Okay, now we are going to use the questions that you wrote and uh, you're going to ask the other team. The other team is Rose, Osvaldo, and uh, Berta. And the second team it is uh, Elsie and Jennifer. <laughs> okay, ustedes dirán a quien le quieren preguntar. <clears throat> Cualquiera de las que tengan, sorry. <clears throat> ¿Alguien? Bien. Yo. Ok. ¿A quién le va a preguntar, Berta? ¿Quiénes son del otro grupo? Elsie y Jennifer. Ok. A Elsie. Ok. Elsie, did, did you dinner today? Did you? Dinner today. Okay. Yes, did I you did. Eat? Yes, I did, she said. Did you say something, Osvaldo? Okay. Um, did you eat dinner now? Ah, okay. No puede ser now porque sería como un progresivo. Okay. Eso le iba a decir. Did you um, dinner, Elsa? No, Elsa, Berta. Okay. No puede, la palabra dinner no puede existir sola para a significar cenar. Lo mismo Okay. para almorzar ni para desayunar. La palabra breakfast, lunch, and dinner tienen que ir acompañada. del verbo have. Por ejemplo, did you Did you have have dinner? That's it. Did you have lunch? Did you have breakfast? Y si no es have, también puedo utilizar el verbo eat, como dijo Osvaldo. So I can say, did you eat dinner? Did you eat lunch? Did you eat Breakfast. So, puedo utilizar dos verbos, eat or have, acompañado Okay. de la palabra dinner, ¿ok? Okay, thank you. Ok, good. Ahora, Elsie le hace una pregunta al otro equipo. Okay. Um, Oswaldo, when did you travel in your last vacation? I traveled to Guatemala the last vacation. Very good. Did you listen? I traveled. Okay, good, good. Okay, Osvaldo, now you ask a question. ¿Quiénes son los demás? 
Jennifer y Elsa. Okay. Estamos um, solitas. Yes. <laughs> Jennifer, when, no, who did you go to the beach with? Oh, uh, who? Yes. Who's with me? Oh, um, my friend and I went to the go, went, sorry, went to the beach the last weekend. Yes. It's okay. This, this answer for you, your Wait, question? Sir? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Directly, you can say, I went with my friend. Okay. Good. Okay. But you did it and it was correct. Okay, now Jennifer ask. Okay. Um it can Rosa, Rose and Osvaldo. Okay, and then says Osvaldo. Okay, then again but Osvaldo. <laughs> <laughs> did you cry yesterday? <laughs> no, I didn't cry. Okay. Now Osvaldo again. Um, Elsa, did you did you feel tired today? Um, oh, did you tired? Did uh -huh. you feel tired? Yes, I did it. Yes, short answer. Evadio, como decir el verbo? In past tense, okay, good. <laughs> but that is correct. That is correct, okay. Elsie asked Rosa, porque nadie le ha preguntado a Rose. Teacher, no. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, yeah. why did you decide to study English? Okay, good question. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to study English? I studied the um, on Monday from Friday. Yes. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, la WH. ¿Qué quieres saber esa WH? Dice why. Ah, okay. ¿Qué significa el why? ¿Ok? Pueden ayudar Osvaldo y Berta. Yes, yes. Sí, sé qué significa, pero estoy procesando la respuesta. Ah, okay, ok, 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 ok. Why did you decide, decide to study English? El verbo ahí es decide, ¿ok? Help my friends, my my group. Okay, help. I, okay, team. I decided to start English because I want to improve my English. Okay, very good. Solo yeah. que, ¿cómo sería la pronunciación del verbo decide in past? Decide. Decide. Así es, en su base forma. En su forma base. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I... Decides. No. ¿Cuál Decide. es el último? Así se pronuncia en su forma base. Decide. 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 That's it. That's it. Decided. I decided. Pertenece al tercer grupo. I decided to study English <coughs> to improve my, my language. Okay? My vocabulary. Very good. Okay, guys. Good. Now we are going to continue with some exercises that we have from the book. In the book, we have, uh, let's see. In, web, in our book, we have this, but let me see what page is this. Aquí. 
Okay, we have these exercises on page number 35. Page 35. In this exercise, it says, the following email about a customer's problem. So this is a problem from a customer. In base a esta information, it says, ask a different partner these questions and write the answer. Pero ustedes no se lo van a preguntar. Van a escribir la respuesta directamente. Where did the passenger go? De acuerdo a esto. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? And the last one. What did the passenger say send that email? So three different questions that we need to answer in base to this information. Okay? Can you do it in this moment, please? Me, me escriben las respuestas en el chat box. Me escriben. Number one, first answer. Number two, this answer. Number three, this answer. Okay? Because En grupo uno por uno. Uno por uno. Hoy sí, individual.
Yeah, I'm going to start reading. So it, the first one says, where did the passenger go? Jennifer says, he traveled another country. Berta says, another country. <laughs> Berta es más concisa. <laughs> ¿No dice dónde? Solo dice la <laughs> Another country, okay? Okay, so we are going to say he traveled to another country. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. And uh, number two, why did the passenger consider it was um, a bad experience? Number two, Jennifer Noberta says, because the bus didn't have a air conditioner. That's it. Because the, uh, the experience is bad because, because for the a conditioner and the slow. Um, well, indeed, no es porque estaba low. Es porque en realidad it Not didn't anymore. have it didn't have AC. It didn't have, the bus didn't have a conditioner. That is the reason for the bad experience. Okay, let me see. The bus didn't have, I see. Ahí se le, se le, se le mezclaron las letras Osvaldo. <laughs> okay. And Elsie, he considered a bad experience because the bus didn't have AC. Okay, then number three, why did the passenger send the email? Because the travel was very bad. Uh, okay, vamos a ver. Um, complain about the trip. And uh, because he considered that it is necessary, had a best service. Oh, well, yes. Okay, because he's not traveling with them anymore, okay? Um, because en, en este caso, vamos a decir el, el viaje, vamos a decir como trip. Because the trip, because the trip was very bad. Mm -hmm. because, because the trip was very, very bad. Okay, so you see, we can read a context and we can understand what the answers are. Okay. I have some questions for you but you are going to include it like with your classmates you have to answer this to your classmates but we are going to do it here together let me see what did i do here can you see my questions Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay. No, no la veo. ¿No las ve? Ah, eso es de, de, la, de la proyección. Yes. Okay. Ah, so I have six questions. Está muy chiquito, no veo. Oh, really? Aquí está, aquí está. Okay. Ah, que se me había ido por allá. <laughs> okay. Ándelo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have the first question for you. I have included, if you can see, in these questions, he mezclado preguntas con el verbo to be y preguntas con otros verbos en donde ocupo el auxiliar did. So, I have questions using was and where with the verb to be and also i included some other questions using the auxiliary did todas juntas 
forman parte del simple past tense. Okay? Now let us okay. answer. Let us answer one by one. Y con esas vamos a ir terminando, vamos a irlas contestando para poder concluir con el simple past tense in a general way with the two kinds of questions. Okay, question number one. How was your weekend? My okay. weekend. Okay. okay, okay, Osvaldo, better if you want to talk. My weekend was excellent. Okay, very good. Because I saw many series. Series? Series. 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 Okay. okay. So you are fan of series, right? Yes. Okay. What about Jennifer? How was your weekend? Oh, in my case, my weekend uh, was very hard because I worked this, I worked? this Sunday. I worked oh. Sunday. On, on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, very good. Yes. Then, Rose? Rose, me quiere quedar callada. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, Rose, how was your weekend, Rose? I was, my it weekend. Was, it was. It was. It was weekend. No, no, no hay weekend. que repetir. No hay que repetir, solo de es, it was, y ya lo califica, ¿cómo fue? Ah, ok. It was. It was um, very tired. Ok. It was very tired. 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 Yes. Porque tired. no es usted. Si fuera usted, dijéramos tired. Pero si, como es el weekend, le vamos a decir tired. Esa es otra okay. clase, ¿ok? Okay, now let us go to the second question. Y la van a contestar quienes no contestaron la número uno. What did you do on your weekend? Okay, viene en línea, okay? What did you do on weekend? Berta. I, este, home office. Este, no, como es homework, uh, home, home. Housewife. <laughs> oh, okay. I did. I, I did, did house chores. Okay, household chores. Household house chores. Hold household chores. Chores. Okay. Oh. Son los quehaceres de la casa. Okay. 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 Elsie. Elsie. What did you do on weekend? Um, I read. Read. Complete the idea. Let's see if I can I get the idea. Read, um, I read. Um. I can't say this. Um. Repisas? Shelters? Shelters. I built it. shelters in my kitchen. Ah, okay. So you were working with some uh, shelters? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> I like to use uh, herramientas. <laughs> oh, okay, tools. Okay. Okay, very good. Where did you go to the rest, to everyone? Where did you go on your weekend? The church. To the, the church. church. I went to the church. I went to the church. Osvaldo? I went, I went to the cinema. Okay, Rose? Rose. I went, I went, I went to the restaurant, Dennis. Okay, good. Jennifer. I went to my work. <laughs> <Good of you. laughs> Did you do any homework on weekend? No, I didn't. 
Okay. No, I didn't. Okay. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. Okay. And the last one. Who were with you? Anything. It was no, with no, my no. brother. Okay. In this case. Okay. Yes. Yes. Any, uh, Berta, you have to say anybody. I was alone. Anybody. 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 Porque anybody. Any, anything is para cosas. Okay. Anybody. Okay. Anybody. Elsie? I I was when when I was with my brother. Okay, that's it. Okay, guys. So we have finished with both kind of questions: yes, no questions, and W H questions. Good job. Thank you. Okay, good job. Now we are going to finish with the attendance. Let us, okay. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present, teacher. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Caray Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monge León. Monge Valencia. Wilfredo. Present. Ok. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for uh, participating and see you tomorrow. See Good, you night. Tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.